Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and I am back from my vacation. Actually, I'm not back just yet. I'm staying the last few days at my sister's place in Uppsala, finishing up some of uh, the things here in Sweden before I go back to Amsterdam. And in this video, I want to talk about cognitive blind spots, blind spots for each personality type. I believe every personality type has a set of personality type blind spots. And your personality type blind spot is what you assume about the world that may or may not be incorrect. So often these blind spots play a crucial role into how you behave and how you make decisions and how you see the world as a whole and that in itself feeds into how you behave and how you act and what you do. So typically the blind spot of an INTP or an ENTP, if we start with the thinking and perceiving types, with the ESTPs and ISTPs, well, you tend to believe that everything about the world accord, acts according to the law of harmony. Everything about the world operates according to a careful symmetry, a careful set of beautiful rules and beautiful laws and everything as operating as whole one. You see the world operating smoothly and efficiently and accurately and as you see everything happening in a way that fits together and forms a beautiful whole. Now this may or may not be true. This may not be correct. And at sometimes the problem with thinking perceiving types is disregarding efficiency in the name of accuracy. It's common for you to believe that and to act in a way that is sometimes inefficient. Because you want to customize and fine-tune and because you want to follow these rules and because you want everything to operate in this beautiful, perfect way, you have a tendency to ignore the straightforward solution. Where a thinking and judging type may simply put tape on the problem. Where a thinking and judging type may simply find an impromptu, straightforward solution to make sure it works. The thinking and perceiving type will form this elegant system to make sure it works perfectly and that sometimes takes time. So the common issue here is, well first assuming that everything operates according to a careful set of laws, when in reality no, there are things around you that operate in ways that are completely absurd, random, irregular, and in many ways not at all according to what is, what is harmonious and accurate. So, what is the issue of the thinking and judging type? Well, first, a thinking and judging type believes that everything that happens in the world happens because of someone's intentions. If a chair isn't working correctly, well, it must have been because someone intentionally wanted you to sit in that chair and to have a bad time. If you don't get the order in time, it must be because the waiter doesn't like you. If something doesn't happen in the way that you want it to happen, in the way that you think is efficient, you assume it is the result of bad intentions. So this may or may not be true. Sometimes, yes, waiters might hate you and they might not want to serve you, but other times it may just be sheer incompetence. Perhaps something happened that made them fail. Perhaps they got a lot of orders at the same time. And that can be hard to recognize sometimes as a thinking and judging type. So what other issues can a person come by? Well, I think also a thinking and judging type will assume that people are always authentic with you. When whatever people tell you is the real truth of that person, how that person works. Thinking and judging types may assume that everyone around you is constantly being <laughs> honest with you and intentional with everything they do, but they might not actually be. What is the blind spot then of an INFJ or an ESFJ? Well, the feeling and judging types struggle with one core thing. They assume that everything is almost but not exactly perfect. Everything you hear, everything you say, everything you write is almost 90% perfect, but not completely perfect. So everything has to be corrected. Everything around you that other people say, that you see, has to be fixed a little. You always have to fix a little with everything. You have to correct something in what everyone says. You have to improve something in how everything is. You have to constantly say, yes, this is great, 
but there is something that is a little wrong. There is never perfect harmony, but the blind spot of the feeling and judging type is this belief that everything is slightly inaccurate. And that can sometimes keep you from enjoying the moment, that sense of, that experience of, that slightly troubling experience, that slight inconvenience that you had in that moment. Finally, what, what is the problem of a feeling-perceiving type? Well, the feeling and perceiving type ha is troubled by the idea that everything around them is slightly broken. <laughs> well, you might think as a feeling and perceiving type that there is something wrong <laughs> with other people, with everyone you meet. Everyone has an issue, everyone has baggage, everyone has a problem. And as a feeling perceiving type, you're always like, what is that problem? What is the problem with that person? What is it that they're hiding, that they're not sharing with you? What is it the issue that they are keeping from you? So that idea that everything around you is slightly broken, this comes from thinking and judging, inferior thinking and judging, by the way. Uh, thinking and judging values efficiency and productivity and straightforward solutions. But as a feeling and perceiving type, the experience is that everyone is a little broken. The, that wheel, that rolling band in thinking and judging type is not working correctly. Something is yammed, something is wrong, and the product that you're being sold is false. There's an issue here. And what is that issue? So sometimes you're right, sometimes there is something wrong with everyone, and perhaps there is something wrong with all of us, something everyone has an issue, everyone has problems. So the question here is, when is something broken, and when is it not? The other issue is, well, of course, the belief that something is broken feeds into feeling and perceiving. If you believe everything is broken, then everyone has a story to tell you. Everyone has something they're hiding. Everything, everyone has an issue that they must be shared and something that you must heal in other people. So it feeds into your core behavior. In that, that sense, a cognitive blind spot feeds into something positive in each personality type. The feeling and judging type, then the belief that everything is slightly inaccurate, feeds into your ideal of rehearsing. Feeling and judging types are constantly rehearsing, finding the best way to say something, the best way to express something, the best way to convey a meaning, the best way to do something. Doing a video over and over is rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing in ahead of a situation. Thinking of a better way to do something constantly. And uh, for the thinking and judging type, that belief that everyone has a bad intention means nobody can be trusted and that means you must be the one to fix and make sure everything is working correctly. That puts you in the leader position. That makes, puts you in charge of that uh, rolling band in the factory. That makes sure that you can be the boss of the group. So notice how these blind spots empower us. And notice how they empower you. But also notice when they are causing you to believe things that aren't true. Notice how these blind spots can become bigger if we don't address them, if we don't notice them. And what happens if this goes too far? For the thinking and judging type, it can lead to huge trust issues and issues with feeling like you can't rely on anyone else. For the feeling and judging type, it can lead into a sense of constant... <laughs> desire to repair and fix and it can keep you in that rehearsal mode where you keep on rehearsing what you were going to say but you never say it and as a thinking and perceiving type that sense of that experience of disharmony and that sense that everything is slightly disharmonious and everything has to be fixed and everything has to be constantly fine-tuned well that can trigger you into always uh, seeking the optimal way forward uh, the, that can keep you from action. For the feeling perceiving type, that blind spot of thinking everything is broken can trigger an issue with, uh, in a sense, feeling broken yourself. And uh, it can trigger that sense of feeling too burdened by people's baggage and feeling overwhelmed by all the problems you see with the world. So it can become too much as well. So this is my 
back from vacation video. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I made a video. I'm not here to share an absolute truth, just to bring up a discussion topic, really. Still, I hope you find it interesting, and I hope it made you think. Thank you all for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.